What's going on guys, Tyler here from Unbox Techie and today we are talking about something very different. It is a umbrella and this is going to be great for if you go out in the rain. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is an umbrella but it is something completely different and actually tech related which is awesome. All right guys, so right behind me I have here this Diffusion umbrella. Like with all my other videos, all the links to the products are going to be down below in the description. I always try and find the best listing for you, so go ahead and check that link out. Also, all of the products that I'm using in this video, such as this nifty little pink light over here, can be found down below in the description. So let's jump into talking about this Diffusion umbrella. All right guys, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is what is a diffusion umbrella? Now I'm using the Niwer, I believe is how you say it, the Niwer two pack of diffusion umbrellas. And so far they've been great. I will go ahead and kind of show you why you may want to. Um, there is a specific reason, but for me it also worked out. I had two LED panels um, that shine, you know, light right through this, uh, through this diffusion umbrella. And essentially that's what a diffusion umbrella is. It's to diffuse the light that's coming out of some kind of light source, whether it's, you know, my LED panel, whether it's a lamp, whether it's, you know, even a window, you could put this in front of a window. So you're not having harsh light hitting your face or hitting your subject. And the idea is to kind of tone that light down and make it much softer. Now for me, these LED panels actually were very bright and very harsh which at first was difficult to use. It was, it was difficult to you know shoot photos, even take videos, anything with that because it was just really harsh lighting. I was getting shadows all across my face, across my nose, everything like that. But after getting the diffusion umbrella, it really softened up that light. And now it's more of a glow that comes in. It's very similar to natural lighting. And when you think about that, if you think of like being, being in front of a window, it's like if the sun was coming in directly or if the sun is out of the window and there's just daylight coming in. So that's kind of how I think of a diffusion umbrella is basically just kind of masking out the sun and making it just kind of like a daylight, like a glow. All right, so let me just jump right into it and show you how these work here. I have my LED panel right here. This is a LED panel. I will have a link down below in the description for this right here. It's been a great LED panel, but this, um, I have this attachment right here, which is Fantastic, by the way, if you haven't had one of these and you have an LED panel and a stand for it, I highly recommend these. Um, basically what this attachment does is, I'll see if it'll focus here on this. Let's see, So right here you can see there's actually a little hole, there it is, there's a little hole right there and that's actually where this umbrella will be mounted. So if I go ahead and loosen this right here, put that straight up. You can see that on this umbrella, it is not an umbrella that you're going to want to use in the rain. It is very short, in fact, um, and this metal pole right here is just simply going to go into the harness there, and you can go ahead and open it up here, and that is essentially how it is mounted. Um, you just go ahead and tighten the screw right here, just like that, and I can go ahead and turn this on. And then you can see this is essentially how I run my lighting. So we have this whole umbrella that now lights up and offers a nice glow, whereas this LED is much, much harsher lighting. So I'll go ahead and show you the difference. All right, guys, so I went ahead and increased the brightness of this light that I have right here. It's that same exact setup. I have an umbrella there with my stand and my LED panel and harness. So I just increased the brightness right there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the umbrella and show you the difference. So guys, this is the difference with the umbrella removed. You can see I have increased the brightness a lot um, for this demo, so you can really see the drastic you know, effect. But look at all the darkness over my, you know, over my shoulder, that there's a big shadow behind me, and it's just, it's really harsh. You can see the shadow on my nose, on this side of my face. It's just, it's very harsh lighting. And when you're shooting, you know, in a place that you would prefer soft lighting, it just, it creates a better effect. I feel very, like, er the edges are sharp. There's, like, a lot of, like, cutting edges, whereas soft it's more just like, you know, I'm present and it's, you're not focused on the intense lighting that is present. 
So continuing with the harsh lighting for just one second, I want to show you why having two of these diffusion umbrellas can be very beneficial. Not only do I have the two LED panels, so that actually helps a lot, but I also have a umbrella here that has gone through some trauma. Um, right over here, you can see these bars right here, actually reinforcement bars. That's how it props the umbrella open. They normally lay parallel with this, with this pole here. And then when you push that up, they just go perpendicular and make a right angle right here. However, it pushes up really strong and these are not very strong. They're pretty thin. So if you are going to look for a different kind of umbrella, I recommend seeing if there's any reviews about these. However, I do like these because they're so cheap and because they work very well for the price. So you can see right here, actually, one of my bars has bent. And when they bend, if you try and bend them back, they will just snap. They are very um, poorly made and very flimsy. So I would recommend, even if you only have one LED panel, make sure you get two, get a two pack, just in case anything happens. Um, again, this was not a lot that it went through, not a lot of problems, but it was, my stand just fell over. Um, I actually had it, I was shooting outside during the night and it just fell over and bent two of these and one of them snapped and the other one is still bent. So I would recommend getting two or getting at least a little more than you need just in case. All right guys, that about wraps it up for these diffusion umbrellas. I hope you learned how to use a diffusion umbrella, what it's good for, and the pros and the cons of these knee were, I think I'm saying that correctly, knee were diffusion two pack of umbrellas. Again, the link is down below in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. Also, you can go ahead and check out any of the other products that I'm using here in my video, such as this fancy pink light that I keep pulling over, or this nice looking blue light, or these desk lights back behind me. So again, go ahead and check out those links down below in the description. Be sure and you give this, be sure and you give this, be sure and you give this video a thumbs up, and be sure and subscribe, guys. I will catch you on the next video. Have a fantastic day, and remember to keep nerding with Unbox Techie. Take care.